Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to open the Spooky Glow box by Sophie and Toffee and this is the August Elves box. And right off the bat I noticed they changed their box style, which I'm a huge fan of. It's super cute with the dinosaur and the logo and the little stars. And if we open the box, the first thing we see is the booklet, of course like always and next up we see a huge amount of molds which i'm super excited for and the first mold we have is this tiny like accessory mold and uh, next up we have this mold with keychains question mark and they are super cool they come with a gallant pose nevermore raven which i like a girl and poe a lot with his story so I'm a huge fan of that. Next up we have a Rocky Horror Picture Show one and I think that's just a standard trick and treat one. And then we have these tiny beds and I think they are glow in the dark, at least they look like it. So let me quickly test it. Oh yeah, they are definitely glow in the dark which is super cool. And then we have some glitters, but these are with shapes, which I'm really excited about. So we have some cats, pumpkins, spiders, uh, all like Halloween themed and in different colors and color changing and stuff. So these I will definitely use. And we get some little charms and these are all pumpkins in different colors, which I like because we have some silvers, bronze, coppers and you can choose which one fits best for your project. And of course we get one bottle of resin and this is 3 to 1 resin, so it will be pretty liquidy and good to work with for the larger molds. And we also get this floating shaker oil in green and clear. And then we have this double bulbed lamp which you twist to turn it on and it's in a like really bright orange. And we also get these powdered glitters and they are like the fine type of glitters in this really really bright green and pink, kind of like highlighter colors. And we also get two adorable little black bats. And the last thing before the molds are some nade cults with Halloween themes. And these are white nade cults, so they're a bit hard to see on camera. And the huge molds we get are these pumpkin molds with a lid. And they are like hollowed by an insert which I am a bit skeptical about if how it will work with air bubbles and we also get this quarter mold which comes with a top for like bubbles that you could put on and here you can see what I mean with insert so yeah as I said really skeptical about having air bubbles all around the brim of this And um, now let's have a look in the booklet. And of course, first we have Sophie and Toffee's information and then we get some important tips. Uh, feel free to pause this video and have a look at them yourself. And um, then we have the huge molds and we can see some examples of how the pieces can turn out with different colors and stuff which I find quite nice because it gives an idea what you can do and of course small descriptions and the keychain uh, things are actually thought to be hotel tags which I find quite interesting and yeah the tiny accessories are shaker bits and apparently the green shaker 
oil color you're supposed to put in with the shaker oil. Uh, which I think will give this layered effect like we saw last year in these like bottle charm things they made with the colored layer effect with the clear and the colored shaker oil. And lastly in this booklet are of course the winners from one of the last boxes. And I'm a huge fan of all of the projects they show as winners so far. Like, especially with this box, all of the colors the people chose and uh, the design choices they made, they're absolutely gorgeous. And the theme for the next box is Krista Druzy. Now let's get started with a project. I'm using some color shifting pigments and some glow in the dark pigments and I'm having a real hard time to get this glow in the dark pigment to not clump up. For some reason it's just this one glow in the dark pigment I have. Like the other ones are totally fine and not clumping but this one is a little bit stubborn. And I want to make sure to really get into the like tiny crevices of the mold so I'm using the stick to just go around all of the inside of the mold and after that I'm just slowly pouring in the rest of the UV resin and then I'm just popping some of the bubbles and letting the cure. Now while we wait let's make a pumpkin. So I'm mixing up some of the 3 to 1 resin that came in the box into one of my silicon cups and this time around I'm mixing 100 grams of it and I hope that will be enough. And here I'm just using my handy dandy coffee stirrer to mix this up. This works really great for liquid resins. It makes it so much easier to mix it. And I'm just adding some red alcohol inks and some of these orange pigment powders. And as they said in the booklet, I'm filling the mold halfway up. And then I'm just using a stick to force out all of the bubbles where the face is and then I put the insert in. Filling it halfway wasn't enough resin so I just lifted up the side and poured some more of the resin in and after that I set it aside and started pouring the lid. And for the lid I started out with a small amount and swishing it around to hopefully coat the inside of the mold to avoid air bubbles in the side of it because it's a quite difficult mold the air bubbles can't escape to the top and after that I'm just letting it cure and I weighted my pumpkin down with some heavy silicon that I found laying around. Now why I waited for this to cure I decided to make some of these cute charms. I'm not sure if I will ever use them as shaker charms or just use them for another project, but I also wanted to try out these glow in the dark glitters and yeah. So I just decided to make up some UV resin and fill in some charms with random colors. Now that the pumpkin has cured, let's unmold it. And I have to say, this lid mold is really hard to unmold. My resin was still a little bit soft, which definitely helped me. And sadly, as you can see, there's lots of air bubbles. Now, as I took out the pumpkin, I immediately noticed I had too little resin in there, so it's a bit too flat. And of course, the lid won't fit on that but I really liked the color and the leather sheen. But I was really trying to have a pumpkin that closed up with lid, so I tried to pour another one. Uh, 
I will show you the outcome a little later, but first let's um, mold the key drawn. As you can see, it has some matte parts. That's probably where they couldn't polish it properly, but I still really love it. And I also made the other one you can see on the left with some leftover resin. Now, unfortunately, with the second mold, as you can see, my weight, I don't know how, but it lifted and the uh, inside um, displacer got moved, so it's not quite in the middle. And that means the lid also doesn't quite work, but I can kind of set it on top. So uh, I will still definitely use them and put them on display in my room. But I may have to try another pour to try and redeem myself with this mold. <laughs> and lastly here you can see all the charms I made. I made some with the glitters off camera because I had some leftover clear UV resin from another project. And lastly, look at these pumpkins with lights in it. Now, I had only another light that was color changing, so the left one, you can't really see the orange color at the moment, but I think it's quite cool with the light inside. Now, what are my thoughts on this box? First of all, I think pink is not quite a Halloweenish color, although I find it interesting, so I'm totally into it that they put uh, uh, glow-in-the-dark glitters in the box. And of course glow-in-the-dark stuff for Halloween themes is absolutely a great idea. And I was also a huge fan of the bats and the glitters. I think they have some really great and interesting shapes which are so different and totally fit the Halloween team. Now to the large molds. As of this point, I recorded this video a while ago, but I'm doing the voiceover later because my laptop broke, um, which is like way later, like three, four weeks later, which means I've seen some YouTube videos already. And I noticed people having great success with the Codra mold, but I also noticed many people struggling with the pumpkin mold and fitting the lid and having issues with air bubbles for the lid itself. And of course the weighting the inside down part is quite an interesting challenge. But I actually saw a fellow YouTuber a couple days ago. Her name is Bunny DIY. She also makes some really cute crafts and stuff with the elf box. And she used water inside the cavity to carefully just weight it down with that. Now, of course, if water comes into the resin, it's a big no-no, but it's quite a huge opening, so pouring in the water is quite easy and it's actually a great idea, so I might have to try that one day. So, overall, I really like the idea of this box. As I said, I'm skeptical with the silicone molds. I really have to try another time to make them work especially the pumpkin, of course, um, but else I really think they fit the Halloween theme and it was a fun box with some really fun projects to try and to make. And it's really versatile with the charms, so you don't have to necessarily use them as shaker bits. But I'm interested to hear what you guys thought of this box, so maybe leave a comment down below and tell me your opinion of it. And if you have this box, also let me know if you had uh, issues with the pumpkins or any issues with the cauldron or something like that. Anyways, that's everything for this video. Hope you're having a great day. Bye!